Let's begin with a word of prayer and we'll move right along into today's lesson. We thank you, Lord, for this time we have to learn and grow. We seek to do the best we can and add to what we know. We love you, God, with all our hearts and to others' love we show. Pleasing you is our goal, not to our lesson we should go. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, welcome to Heroes Modern School Academy. My name is Mr. Land. I want to thank you for joining me. I will be walking you through third grade English today, and we are going to try to cover week 11, day number five. And every fifth day of the week, we try to do listening and verbal training to give you an opportunity to listen and learn how to listen to people when they're talking to you. And guess what? An opportunity for you to speak to people as well and expect them to listen to you. And the way we do that is to turn to Bible verses. Bible verses that we can use to listen and practice our listening skills and our verbal skills as well, following the rules of English from Bible verses. Can you do that? Yes, we can do that. Why are we doing that? Well, the reason we're doing that is because American Founding Fathers left us this legacy to intertwine biblical values, godly values, with every learning experience. And that's what we're doing. That's number one. And number two, God actually commands that we do that as well. In Deuteronomy chapter 6, the Word of God says that when you talk, when you walk around, make sure you talk about God. When you come back into your house, talk about God. That's going to be pretty much like when you're doing homeschooling, talk about God. When you're doing English, talk about God. Deuteronomy chapter 6, you go ahead and you read it yourself. It's going to be there. Why is God doing that? Why would God give us that instruction? Well, the reason God's going to give us that instruction is... If you try to engage yourself in some kind of a learning experience without God being a part of it, your mind is going to be carnal in the process, and you can use that knowledge for evil. Unfortunately, that's what we see in our world today. So that's why we see people, supposedly smart people, and they're using their knowledge to do evil using their knowledge to develop softwares that can steal credit cards or doing things that are really bad on the internet over there. Well, they had knowledge. They had knowledge about mathematics, knowledge about computer science, knowledge about English, but they put all that knowledge to a wrong use. Why? Because their learning experience didn't have biblical values or godly values intertwined into it. So that's the reason we do this uh, in this curriculum. So the way it's going to go is I'm going to read a scripture to you and then you are going to re repeat after me. And then afterwards, you are going to re refresh and you are going to recite that scripture multiple times over until it becomes a part of you. So let's go ahead and do that today. All right. So the scripture goes like this. Rejoice always. That's going to be one of the simplest scriptures you can memorize. Rejoice always. 1 Thess Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 16. All right, I'm going to read that again. Rejoice always. All right, so like, let's try to repeat that uh, together with me. Rejoice always. Okay, can you do that again? Rejoice always. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 16. And I bet you're not going to have any trouble remembering that because it's just a two- Word verse of scripture. First Thessalonians chapter 5 and in verse 16. It goes like rejoice always. Can you remember that real easily? I believe you can. Well, thank you for joining me today, little hero, godly hero. God bless you. And remember, God cares about you, and so do we at Heroes Modern School Academy. And until next time, bye-bye. Your hero's body, and as you study with heroes born, I will be your friend. So don't you 